Hey, I got a great stomach acid question from a viewer that I wanted to answer in this video. So it was over on our video for how to fix a lax LES valve that Crystal says, I don't remember where I read it, but I read that the keto diet causes the stomach to produce less stomach acid because there's no veggies to stimulate production or far fewer veggies. That might be part of the issue. I know raw vegetables for me stimulate my stomach to produce stomach acid, which is exactly what I want. So this is a great topic because there's a lot of confusion about this that I want to clear up and help people understand what they're really looking at when they're looking at a keto or a carnivore type diet. Let's jump in. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So remember, I'm not a doctor and I don't know Crystal. I'm not giving her any medical advice for sure. I don't know Crystal's situation or what's actually going on with her, but we can talk about these things in general. But the first thing to understand is why there's so much confusion on this topic. And the main reason is because most people are listening to advertisers that tell us that acid reflux is caused by having too much stomach acid and all these symptoms are caused by having too much stomach acid. And we want to turn that stomach acid off because mother nature is probably an idiot. It. But even when you just put into Google, does carnivore lower stomach acid? Even the Google AI says, while some proponents of the carnivore diet believe it can reduce stomach acid, research suggests that a high fat meat based diet like the carnivore diet may actually increase the risk of acid reflux and other digestive issues rather than lowering stomach acid. So they're viewing it like these symptoms and these GERD issues are actually coming from high stomach acid, but we know now that that's just not the case. We know that most reflux is caused by someone not having enough stomach acid to trigger that LES or lower esophageal sphincter valve at the bottom of the esophagus to close. So that valve opens to let food in, and then as we acidify the food, the acid in the stomach triggers that valve to close so that things don't come back up and burn us. So the problem is someone will have a small amount of acid, but it's not enough to trigger that valve to close, and then that acid will come back up and cause reflux. So then we take a medication that just turns off acid altogether and then we don't feel that symptom anymore so we're like yay we fixed it great job but we've actually turned off the digestive process because the body actually needs that stomach acid so that stomach acid is there to help us break down that food and it's especially there to help us break down protein protein is the food that will increase stomach acid the most because the body needs more acid to break down protein now any food is generally going to create stomach acid, and stomach acid is part of that process that helps all the food break down. But when protein comes in, remember the body can't do anything with protein. It can't use protein. It has to break that down into amino acids that then become the building blocks for pretty much all repairing and rebuilding processes that the body does. So it needs stomach acid to break down that protein. Now, when you look at a carnivore diet, a carnivore diet is usually a higher protein diet. Now, when you're really doing carnivore right, you're leaning more on the ketogenic side and you're getting enough fats so that the body can run on fats and this protein. But for most people doing carnivore, they're going to be having a little more protein to where the body would need more stomach acid. So where this confusion comes in and where people like Crystal are saying, oh man, I, I do better when I eat more vegetables, then my stomach makes more acid. Well, we really need to think about why are you judging it that way? What is the symptom that either comes or goes when you don't eat vegetables? And we need to understand the different things that can happen from person to person. The symptoms that come up are not going to be the same for every person, especially when we're looking at either reflux symptoms or other symptoms that can come from low stomach acid, like bloating and indigestion. You know, indigestion, like it says right there in the name, indigestion, a lack of digestion. And we know that stomach acid is a part of digestion. So it's really funny how we just don't get the clue that indigestion is really about a lack of stomach acid in most cases. So when you're looking at almost any digestive symptom, not any, but almost any, they're almost always going to be caused by either a lack of stomach acid, someone not having enough stomach acid, 
or some type of overgrowth, either in the stomach or the small intestine or a dysbiosis in the large intestine, or a lack of bile flow. Bile has become too thick and sticky to flow correctly. So there's a lot of other digestive problems that can come about, but most of them are caused in one way or another by one of those three problems. So a lack of stomach acid is a very common cause for a lot of these symptoms that come up. The thing that's tricky when we're looking at keto or carnivore, and I put carnivore in here too just because it has similar uh, situations that can go on when we're looking at digestion. The reason that a lot of people feel like these diets have the ability to lower stomach acid is because they have the ability to really lower insulin levels. You're not eating carbohydrates at all or you're eating a lower amount of carbohydrates that allows insulin to come down. And that's one of the biggest benefits of these diets. But when insulin comes down, it can cause a lot of people to pee out more minerals. And a lot of people that go on one of these diets already have minerals that are too low. And that's usually the case because someone has digestive malfunctions and they can't break down their food correctly to pull all the minerals out of the food that they're eating. So minerals will be low in this system and that can create a lot, a lot of problems. But when insulin goes very low, it causes some people to pee out even more of those minerals. So the small amount of minerals that they have are now all getting peed out. Well, one of the problems is for the body to make hydrochloric acid, it needs minerals to do that. It needs chloride. It needs zinc. It needs a lot of these resources so that it can produce that hydrochloric acid. So if someone's peeing out all their minerals and now the body doesn't have the resources it needs, it really can lower stomach acid by lowering the body's ability to produce that stomach acid. But again, this issue where keto or carnivore is actually lowering stomach acid is usually only going to occur if someone has really low mineral levels. And that means that you can look at their blood pressure and their systolic number is, is going to be below 112 in most cases. It's probably going to be like 98 over 60 or something like that because they don't have enough minerals to really run all of the body's functions. So when they're peeing out more minerals it creates trouble like shutting down that stomach acid function. Another thing to think about is that if someone is doing a ketogenic diet correctly, then they're doing a moderate protein diet. A ketogenic diet is a high fat, moderate protein diet. So they might be lowering the amount of protein that they're eating on this ketogenic diet than what they may have been eating before. And a lower amount of protein is usually going to bring down the requirement of acid production because the body wants to produce more acid when there's more protein being consumed because it needs more acid to break down all that protein. So that's another aspect that could actually lower the stomach acid requirement of the body and actually lower the production of acid is if someone is eating less protein. So we also need to think about where is the person starting from because the perfect formula to magnify digestive symptoms is to have a small amount of stomach acid, like just not enough. But not if you have none, then some of those symptoms will go away, like reflux. You won't feel that heartburn with no stomach acid, but you will if you have a little bit. And a lot of times if someone has an overgrowth where there's a lot of alkaline waste from all this bacteria in the stomach and such, and they put a small amount of acid in there, now that little bit of acid is going to mix with all that alkaline waste byproduct stuff and it's going to create a fizzy mess and that's going to create a lot of discomfort. So a lot of times it's that small amount of acid that's creating trouble. So when you're looking at things that can increase or decrease stomach acid, when we see symptoms magnified like bloating or acid reflux, we need to try to figure out, well, is the magnified reflux symptom coming because the person had no stomach acid and now they've added a little bit of stomach acid or maybe the bodies, uh, they're doing something that increases the body's ability to make that stomach acid. Like maybe they weren't using salt at all and now they started using a sea salt. So they're giving the body that chloride ion so it can start making a little more stomach acid. So when the body is making a little bit more stomach acid, that could really increase some symptoms. And then the person is going to view that as like, oh, that's not really right for me. When really they needed to increase stomach acid even more. So when you can increase stomach acid enough, it relieves a lot of these symptoms. But just increasing a little bit can create a lot of trouble. And that's one possible thing that can confuse some people about keto or carnivore is that for some people, not all people, but for some people, 
when you do a high fat diet, it has the ability to relax that LES valve a little bit. So it doesn't close as tightly and then stomach acid is coming back up and creating reflux. So I'll put some links to some studies in the description below this video where you can really see that there's a lot of people that fix acid reflux using either a keto or a carnivore diet when they're really reducing carbohydrates. And you'll see some people that will really magnify their reflux symptoms when they're doing this. And I go into this in a lot more depth in a video on the pros and cons of carbs with reflux or GERD. So I'll, I'll link that video in the description below if you want to dig into that a little bit. But it's important to understand that this can really vary from person to person. But the fact that some people will have magnified reflux symptoms when they do a higher fat diet helps us understand that some people are going to view that like, oh, it's either raising stomach acid or it's decreasing it, but it may be more about the effects of the higher fat food on that LES valve. And I also see that some people just need more carbohydrates to tighten that LES valve. So when Crystal's saying, you know, I just do better when I'm eating vegetables, it could be the vegetables that are giving her enough carbohydrates to tighten that LES valve better. And again, this is not a situation I see with everybody. I've seen many, many clients improve their acid reflux and GERD by using a carnivore or a keto diet. So don't be confused about what I'm saying, but that's why we need to really look at our own body chemistry and what our body is doing and figure out what's right for us and our body and not what all the cool kids are doing. It's not always going to be the same for every person. So to kind of summarize that, my viewpoint is that a carnivore or a keto diet is more likely to actually increase stomach acid a little bit because the person is eating less junk, processed food and carbohydrates. The body doesn't need a lot of stomach acid to break down carbohydrates like it would if they were eating more protein than they were eating before. But with these scenarios that we talked about, there are some scenarios in body chemistry or things going on with someone's LES valve to where doing a diet like a carnivore or a keto could really magnify some of these symptoms. And if one of these diets is causing someone to pee out more minerals when they already don't have enough, then it really could restrict the production of stomach acid for that particular person. But you can see all this stuff is really complicated. The digestive process is a tricky situation, when, especially if someone's having trouble. You really have to look into all the things that are going on. So if you want to understand that a little bit more, you can jump over right now and check out our very in-depth video on the whole digestive process, how to figure out what's going wrong, and steps you can take to improve it with our video on full digestive reset. I can't wait to hear about your results.